for this conversation now. Johannesburg is still without a mayor. Now the proceedings yesterday, as you see, you saw here on the show, were delayed by some ongoing negotiations between the parties. Now this meant that no mayor could be elected as planned, raising further questions about stability in council. Let's now speak to someone who's watching these developments with keen interest, Gauteng Cocta MEC Mzi Kumalo. But Kumalo, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. How concerned are you about what is going on in the city of Johannesburg? Oh, good evening to you and good evening to your viewers at home. We are um, gravely concerned of what is happening in Johannesburg because uh, in, in dealing with the, the uh, coalition's government, we've set ourselves two objectives that we think we should achieve. The first one is to ensure uh, stability of municipalities and the second one is to ensure that uh, service delivery uh, do take place in all our municipalities. We are more concerned because we are at a critical stage of uh, processes of development within the municipalities. Uh, for instance, uh, municipalities are now engaging communities on their draft budget for the next financial year. But secondly, they are also engaging communities on um, the draft IDP that are linked to uh, the um, budget for the next uh, financial years. These uh, developments that are happening in Johannesburg, we think they are um, delaying some of these particular processes whilst uh, many of our resi residents want to make input of their own development and want to ensure that uh, the stability in the municipality. Mm -hmm. So we are very worried and we hope that uh, uh, the meeting of Friday would finally um, elect the mayor in Johannesburg. So, MEC, let's explain then to someone who's watching tonight, because other people would say, for example, they argue that not having a mayor doesn't mean the city grinds to a halt in terms of services. But if you think about it and what you've just explained right now, residents not being able to comment on this very important process, what does it mean then for a resident of Johannesburg who's listening to you saying that they cannot comment? What implications could this have on their day-to-day? lives the, the first thing that we need to understand is the, the process that i just outlined is mm. a political process that is led by the executive mayor and the mayoral committee we must also recall that once the executive mayor um, resigns as is the case now in johannesburg the all members of mayoral committee cease to be members of mayoral committee it therefore means that we are left with only the administration of course i agree there the service delivery does not come uh, to hold all of it but there are certain aspects that are crucial that gets affected uh, by this kind of situation particularly those that i've mentioned so a budget will not pass without having um, input uh, from communities, a budget will not pass without it being consulted with uh, the resident in general, and that this is where we are, and that's where our 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 worry is, uh, as such. And, and, and also, I'm sure, because of the fact that now there might be a new mayoral committee, but the Lao, this is the period between, um, you know, the, 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 the resignation and the actual appointment of this particular mayoral committee. How much of, you know, oversight suffers during that particular Lao period? Well, the oversight suffers a lot because, um, remember, you only are left with uh, administrators, who are not because the part of the role of the political office bearers in any municipality is to ensure that uh, whilst professionals are doing their work they are being oversighted but they also account and report to, to the political heads whose primarily primary task is to ensure that policies that have been agreed upon are adhered to in implementing programs mm. A budget that have been allocated for those particular pro pro programs have been uh, adhered to and that uh, the community is properly engaged in the process of, 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 uh, of implementation. All of those um, are impacted negatively when we found ourselves in a situation that we're in now. And the concerns are not only about the city of Johannesburg. One looks at Gauteng, you know, and, 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 and looking at what has been happening in these various councils. You think of Ekurleni, for example, you think of what happened in Tswane, you think of what happened in Mohale City. Let's talk about how then do you begin to intervene as a department to ensure that residents are not on tenterhooks and also, you know, remaining worried about what this means for service delivery. 
Well, at a, at a macro level, we are agreeing that uh, there should be a, a regulation that is put in place, uh, which will re regulate a coalition government, so that amongst others, we mitigate against um, the uh, the frequency of, uh, for instance, the motion of no confidence that are passed against the executive mayors. Um, that, that's, that's one area. The second part is that at a micro level, we are saying that uh, we are going to review, work together with the municipality to review the standing orders in order to uh, ensure that they contribute toward uh, stability. Amongst the things that we are thinking about is to uh, include um, conflict resolution mechanisms within the standing rules of the municipality so that the issue of the motion of no confidence, for example, becomes an action of the last resort. But we create an environment where in uh, issues can be mediated upon and solutions can be found uh, as part of contribution towards uh, the, um, uh, the the stability of uh, the, 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 mon the municipalities. All right. It does look like uh, you have your work cut out for you there, Mdunga, because there's so much going on and I'm sure a lot of residents are worried about what this means then for the future. And you talk about the motions of no confidence and a lot of people really worried about the mayor that would be put in place on Friday. How long does he then stay in office? So thank you so much for your time. Let's see then what unfolds and how then the situation moves going forward. That is Mzee Kumalo, Gauteng Cocktail MEC.